What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing a Manchester City transfer update for we'll try and lighten the mood after the disappointment of the FA Cup final from yesterday. So before I do crack on with this video make sure like always if you are enjoying the content do subscribe to my channel. It is free to subscribe. Remember going to be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout June, July and August throughout the summer transfer window to keep you guys up to date here on YouTube. YouTube every single day with all the latest Manchester City transfer news will be going daily from June 3rd for you guys to enjoy social media links you can find them in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter Instagram and TikTok email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries don't forget as well to leave a thumbs up 200 likes is the aim and do let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below so we're going to crack on with this video we've got plenty to get through we're going to start off with the contract news and we've got the very latest on Scott Carson now he has signed a new one year contract at Manchester City keeping him here until June 2025 and it is rolling over from his current deal so he seems to be doing a rolling 12 month contract year upon year that's happened for the last couple of years and uh, this summer is no different as well so City tying down their third choice keeper here which is Super news for uh, Lord Carson keeping him at Manchester City as well. So the question now remains is what are Manchester City going to do about first and second choice goalkeeper with question marks coming over the future of Stefan Ortega Moreno and Edison. Now moving on we've got the very latest on Pep Guardiola and the Daily Mail have said that Manchester City have their eyes on offering Pep Guardiola a new long term deal at the club, a, a deal that would keep Pep Guardiola at Manchester City for over a decade. He has currently been at Manchester City for eight years, he has one year left on his current contract. Pep isn't in a rush to sign a new deal or get his future sorted. The last couple of times when Pep Guardiola has signed contract extensions at Manchester City, they've happened with roughly around six to nine months left on his deal. So I think that'll be something, rather than keeping my eyes on for the summer, could be wrong, but I don't think it'll happen this summer. I think it's more likely to happen probably after October time through to the winter transfer window. So if Pep Guardiola signs a new deal, then that is fantastic. If by the time we get to the end of January, uh, I imagine uh, we'll start hitting uh, points about uh, discussions being held over what's going to happen with Pep Guardiola. Is he going to be leaving in the summer of 2025? Or is he going to sign a new contract at Manchester City? At the moment, everyone's pretty relaxed. Everything's normal. It's rolled like this the last couple of times that we've got down into Pep Guardiola having a year left on his contract. So don't be concerned by it. So moving on to the out, we've got the very latest on Jan Kuto. And I am expecting Jan Kuto to leave Manchester City this summer on a permanent basis. Now, sports witness have said that Manchester City have communicated to Jan Kuto that they are not planning to use him around the City first team squad for next season, which I think is a big shame because he's a high quality player. Manchester City instead angling towards they want a permanent sale this summer instead, with City looking for around £40 million for the fullback, with Manchester City happy with their options. You've got options such as Kyle Walker and Rico Lewis at right back, along with Manuel Akanji and John Stones, who can also cover there as well. So Manchester City not too concerned about that position as of right now, so not a priority position. So it looks like Jan Kuto may be out um, and leaving Manchester City this summer. And I think if I was in charge of selling him, I don't think I'd be too fussed about selling him to another Premier League team, as long as we learn our lessons from the Cole Palmer transfer and put in a cheap buyback clause because I think it solves a lot of problems there and it would be do Jan Kuto the world of good to get Premier League experience and regular playing time in the Premier League as well or elsewhere. We'll see. Now moving on, we've got the very latest on John Stones and the Football Insider has said that John Stones has been frustrated at the lack of playing time for Manchester City in the business end of the season and with that being said and done, could be tempted to leave Manchester City with Bayern Munich making their interest known about Johnny Stones. We'll see if they do make a move. I will be surprised if John Stones does leave Manchester City this summer. I think City have just been a bit cautious about him uh, with it in terms of his injury record and uh, obviously got European Championships coming up. England will want him to be fit. So I think City have just been trying to be very careful when it comes to John Stones rather than City just thinking actually we've got better players here and John Stones isn't going to get regular playing time once he's proved that he's over uh, these injuries that he's had this season I think Man City will have no problem at all in moving him back to a familiar role uh, in slotting into that little hole that we have in the 
uh, squad when it comes to potentially playing at centre back and also uh, potentially going into defensive midfield as well. Now moving on to the final out of this video takes us on to an update on Kevin De Bruyne and the Mirror have said that Kevin De Bruyne's agent this week has sat down and spoken to as many as 10 Saudi Arabian clubs this week to discuss terms and a move but the decision is thought to have already been made from Kevin De Bruyne and he is not interested right now in a move to Saudi Arabia. If uh, a move does intensify and more offers come in and uh, offer more money and uh, more uh, luxurious things for Kevin De Bruyne to try and tempt him to Saudi Arabia, then that uh, could change. But right now, the Mirror is saying, and it's my belief as well, that Kevin De Bruyne is happy and settled in Manchester with his family and with Manchester City. And he wants to see out his contract at the club, potentially maybe even extending his contract because uh, it has been mentioned, it's not the first time that I've heard this either, that uh, right at the end of his career he'd be interested in ending his career in the MLS over in the United States of America and further uh, goes on to what I was reporting on in my last transfer update where Kevin De Bruyne apparently has hold, uh, held initial discussions with San Diego Football Club about a move to California. Now moving on to the ins, just one transfer to speak about and it takes us on to an update on Lucas Pacatar. Now despite him looking to have been cleared of these betting allegations in Brazil, it has been reported that the FA are set to charge Lucas Paqueta with betting breaches on four occasions during 2022 and 2023 with irregular betting patterns on him being given yellow cards from islands in Brazil. That's uh, the very latest that we've had on this and we've had more information coming in from that. Now Lucas Pekatar has denied any wrongdoing uh, and he has the full support of West Ham however it has been reported that if it can be proven and is found guilty of these irregular betting patterns on him picking up yellow cards in certain games then he could face a ban of up to 10 years in football. Now Manchester City were interested in signing Lucas Paqueta last summer and they are interested again in signing him this summer as well but if this news is true that is being reported then Manchester City will not go near Lucas Paqueta and they will not be signing him this summer. Manchester City are going to wait on what's going to happen with regards to these allegations before deciding on what direction they want to go in. It is thought we're going to have a clearer indication by the middle of June, so nice and early into the window, as to whether Manchester City are going to say do we or don't we decide to make a move? With right now, it's very cloudy. It's a situation that City are keeping an eye on. And if he can clear his name, I imagine City will reignite their interest. If not, then Manchester City will simply walk away and will look at alternative targets. And one player that's name keeps cropping up is that of Bruno Gimaraes over at Newcastle United. When I do get further developments on this, guys, of course, I will keep you up to date with my daily Manchester City transfer updates coming from June 3rd for you guys to enjoy throughout the whole summer to keep you guys up to date here on YouTube with all the latest Manchester City transfer news. It is free to subscribe, so if you haven't already, do subscribe. It's the easiest way to stay up to date. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business business inquiries don't forget to leave a thumbs up 200 likes is the aim and do let me know your thoughts in the comments below and i'll see you all again real soon for the next manchester city video so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now <laughs>